In this lecture, we are going to present the Paxos algorithm for single value consensus. So let us remember the single value uniform consensus problem. We have the following properties of single value consensus. Validity, which says only proposed values may be decided. So you cannot decide on a value that is not proposed. And then you have uniform agreement, saying that no two processes decide different values. Then we have integrity, which says each process can decide a value at most once. And then we have termination. Every process eventually decides a value. So if you think about this, this is a liveness property, termination, and the others are safety properties. So in the context now of single value uniform consensus, that's what we want to solve in this lecture. First, we know that uniform consensus is not solvable in the fail silent model, a model that has no failure detectors, which is basically the asynchronous system model. Given a fixed set of deterministic processes, in this case processes that cannot throw dice, there is no algorithm that solves consensus in the asynchronous model if one process may crash and stop. So the impossibility result that we just mentioned says there are some infinite execution where processes are not able to decide on a single value. The intuition, and that is not the proof, the intuition is that we have a problem and the problem is that it is not possible to distinguish a slow process and a process that has crashed in the field silent model. So at certain state in executions, it is not possible to actually decide because you don't know if some process is still alive but did not yet communicate with you his decision. So this result, or it's called the impossibility result of consensus, was published in the 80s, 1980s, by Fisher, Lynch, and Peterson, and it is known as the FLP impossibility result. So what we are going to present here is an algorithm called Paxos that solves the uniform consensus in the fail noisy model. If we have access to an eventually perfect failure detector, or equivalently, omega, the eventual leader election. So that's why we are talking about our assumption is a partially synchronous system. That is the fail noisy model. And we will allow in this algorithm a weaker channel model. So we may allow message duplication, loss, and reordering. And the algorithm that we are going to talk about is called Paxos. And in fact, this algorithm solves a weaker abstraction than consensus called abortable consensus. And it solves it in the fail silent model and in the asynchronous system. And we will describe this abstraction shortly. Later, this abortable consensus, which Paxos solves, we are going to solve it also in the fail recovery model, where processes may fail and recover and a correct process fails and recover finitely many times. Paxius is arguably one of the most important algorithms in distributed computing. This algorithm was invented by Leslie Lamport, who is a Turing Award winner in distributed computing. And this presentation follows the paper by Leslie Lamport, which called Paxos Made Simple. This paper is quite good because it gives you insight why the algorithm is correct. So let us have a high level view of the algorithm. So here is a simple way to say it is first, we have the proposers that propose values. One way to solve the problem is to elect a single proposer using omega, the eventual leader election abstraction. This proposal becomes a leader and the proposal then impose its proposal 
on every one, and every one decides on the imposed value. So this is a reasonable approach to solve the problem. However, we will have a problem with omega because omega is an eventually the election. Several processes might initially be proposers, and they might propose conflicting values, and we get what we call contention. So again, a high view of the algorithm is what we have just said. We have leaders that propose values. The leaders might contend and interfere with each other, and therefore you might not agree on a value. The solution is a portable consensus where processes attempt to impose their proposals. They might abort if there is contention to guarantee safety because we have multiple proposals. And that is a portable consensus. But eventually, using omega, omega eventually will have one proposer. So eventually one proposer will succeed, and he is alone, and that is Leibniz. So the abstraction we are going to describe now, which the core Baxter's algorithm implements, is called abortable consensus. And you have in this abstraction processes can propose values like D, and processes can either decide or they can abort. This is the two. So this is abortable consensus. We call it abortable consensus here. 